Hey everyone, this is Jalen Mitchell and welcome to The Hook. Here's a look at our daily announcements. Good afternoon, Raiders. I'm Cameron Hicks. And I'm Sigourney Weaver with today's announcements. Today, our Lady Raiders softball team will compete against Hardaway High School at Shaw at 4.30 p.m. Meanwhile, our Lady Raiders volleyball team will compete in a trial match against Benson Hardaway High School at Shaw at 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock p.m. tonight. Come on and show your support for these teams. In other news, if you are already a member in good standing with Shaw's National Honor Society, meet to attend this meeting this Thursday after school. Please check your email for more information about this or contact Ms. Melton or Ms. Minnie Matthews with questions. Here's your daily dose of motivation. John Wooden said, things work out best with those who make the best of how things work out. Freshmen came back into the building this week and started Monday, upperclassmen will join them. We look forward to seeing you in school. Remember, tomorrow is A-Day. Thanks for tuning in to our daily hook announcements. I'm Cameron Hicks. And I'm Sigourney Weaver, and we are signed off with The Hook. Even with students having to do the school year online, there are many ways to how students will learn, and this includes all musical classes. Here's Mariah Cooper with more information on how these classes will be ran virtually. Hello, Raiders. With classes going virtual, this has caused a major roadblock for the music classes. With classes being online, the music department has had to come up with some creative ways to teach. In the school events such as football games, I feel that all of us should still participate and whatnot, but social distancing still shall be practiced and stuff like that. I think that um, overall, no matter with this COVID stuff, we're still going to find a way to have fun. And I say that it's not, they're not going to limit how many people is in the band because all of us play a part. With well, students having limitations to instrument use, and in online class, it has made it a quite a challenge in our music department. We practice outside and not in the classroom. We can't wear masks. We have to pull them down to our skin because we still have to breathe. Um, students that play the instrument, they still have to put a mask down to breathe and play the instrument. But overall, we're still separated. It's still social distancing. I'm Mariah Cooper, and I'm signing off with The Hook. Besides musical classes, the pandemic is causing many clubs and organizations to change the way they run their groups this year. This includes the Beta Club. Here's Aiden Guess to tell us how Beta Club will be run this year. Beta Club is one of the many clubs offered here at Shaw, whose purpose is to promote the ideals of academic achievement, character, leadership, and service among elementary and middle school students. If I had to describe Beta Club in one word, it would be teamwork. Because everything that we do requires teamwork and to work with each other. From all of, from going to serve people uh, food to, I don't know, going down to the women's shelter thing and making food for them. Beta Club is based around community service and making the community better as a whole. Shaw's Beta Club members do numerous groups group community service projects throughout the whole school year. In order to join Beta Club, you need at least a 3.7 GPA or higher. You need to be a sophomore, junior, or senior, and a student in good standing, meaning we don't like students who've had lots of referrals, um, students who've been suspended several times, so those are the things that we look for. A lot of people are confused sometimes they think of Beta Club, they think it's just like National Honor Society, but it's not. Beta Club is a national organization that's based on community service. So the whole premise of Beta Club is about service, service to your school, service to your community, and service to yourself. Wow, that only goes to show that Beta Club is a very great club for students who are in need of great opportunities. Anyways, that was Aiden Guest signing off with the hook. Nash even with everything that has been going on this year, one thing we can look forward to is fall sports. Here's Stephanie Tidwell with how the Shaw softball team is doing this year. The softball season has begun. Let's see how they're doing. The 2020-2021 softball team has been working hard and long this year. Every day at practice we do something different, but our momentum, our energy, our intensity remains the same because we're just out here trying to get better. As the girls have been playing, they have 
had different challenges to face this season. Uh, we're really working on our pitching and we're also working on our hitting. Um, we have an excellent defense. Uh, we don't really need to do much work there, but kind of do some tweaks. So far, they have been playing many teams in the district and out of the district. Every year we try to get better between the teams. So this year we look way better than we did last year between just the different players we have and their motivation and dedication to being out here. Honestly, I really do think we have the group of girls, we have the coaches out here believing in us to where we can go past the Sweet 16. I am Stephanie and I'm signing off with The Hook. That's it for today, Raiders. This is Jalen Mitchell signing off with The Hook.